With every Turing Shield network solution, you get a thermal scanner, an add-on AI mini box, and access to the data access management platform. As soon as you connect your AI mini box to the Wi-Fi, you can log into the data access management platform, a cloud-based, central monitoring tool to access the data generated from the scanners across all existing sites. Using the data access management platform, you can perform an array of tasks, from monitoring sites and locations, to checking various statuses and alerts, viewing reports, managing various settings, including sites, devices, notifications, and much more. In this video, you will get familiar with the various features of the data access management platform and how you can use them to achieve enhanced visibility of your scanners and sites and get access to the information you need. Depending on your role, whether of a system administrator or other roles, such as site manager, you can access various features available on the data access management platform. To begin with, we will look at the key responsibilities of the system administrators and how they can manage them using the data access management platform. A system administrator can monitor thermal and other data captured on scanners in all the sites. In addition, as a system administrator, you can create and manage global sites, add other site managers, create health questionnaires, manage settings, and much more. Before exploring further, let us see how to access the data access management platform. Once a device is installed, you will receive an email from the AI Box team intimating that your AI Box is ready. You can use the appropriate link to access the data access management platform. On the login page, enter your credentials. One of the responsibilities you have as a system administrator is to monitor different data using the dashboard. The dashboard page shows device coverage for the USA. Canada, Australia, and Mexico. You can change these locations using the location dropdown. If you are using the device in a country that is not listed in the location dropdown, then reach out to your internal Turing Video Advocate or the customer service at 866-816-7426 or email at support at turingvideo.com. You can go to the temperature dashboard page to get statistical views for all the sites assigned to you, temperature statistics, alerts overview, total temperatures taken over time, and top sites with alerts. You can also use the filters to view data for a specific site and time. In addition to monitoring the sites and devices, as a system administrator, you can manage sites and notifications. Let's find out how to create sites and site managers, bind scanners to a site, set up notifications for key stakeholders, and edit profile preferences. You can access the Sites page from the Sites menu under Settings. The Settings Sites page allows you to view all your sites and whether the scanners show online or offline status. You can monitor all the states that have scanners operationalized. Use filters to view the status for a specific state. To add a new site, click Add Site. If you are using a touchscreen device, you will need to tap on it. On the Add Site Overlay box, provide the site name, state, and city. Click Submit to save your new site. The newly added site will appear on the Sites page. On this page, you can also edit site information, assign a manager to a site, or delete a site. From Settings, go to Site Managers to manage individuals who monitor alerts data for a specific site. On the Site Managers page, you can add a new site manager or delete an existing site manager. You can also view attributes of existing site managers that include their ID, first name, last name, username, phone numbers, and activation status. To add a new site manager, click Add Site Manager. 
In the Add Site Manager overlay box, enter relevant information in all the fields and click Submit. As a system administrator, you may need to bind devices to a site so one site manager can monitor data for more than one scanner. To bind a device to a site, from the Settings menu choose the Devices option. On the Devices page that appears, you can select the required site to view using the drop-down and then click Search. To bind a device to a site, click Bind Site for the corresponding device. On the Bind Site Overlay box, select the relevant site from the drop-down and then click Submit. After the scanners are bound to a site to edit a site, click Edit on the Devices page. Using the Data Access Management platform, you can set up notifications to allow specific individuals in your organization to receive real-time high-temperature alerts via SMS or emails. To manage notifications, from the Settings menu, select the Notification option. This will display the Notification Management page. To set up a phone number and email, click the Edit icon. On the Edit Configuration Overlay box that appears, enter email and SMS details, and then click Submit. If necessary, click the plus icon to add another phone number or email address. You can view the additional phone number linked to the device by clicking More. Use the Delete icon to remove the details. You can edit your profile by clicking your username at the top right of the screen and then selecting Profile from the drop-down. Here you can change the cloud preference and password for your profile. Let's now find out how to set up a health questionnaire. Using the Data Access Management platform, you can create a health questionnaire that works best for your organization. Health questionnaires are used as one of the standard safety protocols during COVID in many organizations and across countries. With Turing video scanners, a visitor or employee can be mandated to complete the questionnaire before allowing access to the facility. Let's find out how to create a new health questionnaire and edit an existing template for your organization. When you're creating a health questionnaire for your organization, simply go to the Questionnaire tab on the left menu. A list of existing questionnaire templates appears, arranged by the questionnaire title, creator's name, and the actions that you can take for each of them. You can use the More Options icon to view more actions that you can perform, such as updating a notification, deleting a record, or viewing the results. To create a new health questionnaire, click Create Questionnaire. Select the Create from Scratch option in the overlay box, and then click Next. In the general form, enter an appropriate title. You also have the option to enter descriptions, terms of use, end message, pass, end message, fail, and whether you want more information from the contact, such as department, name, or ID. To add a question, scroll to the end of the form and click Add Question. In the question box, enter your question. From the Type drop-down, to select the type of question, select Yes or No, or Text Type. You can make the question mandatory for the contact by using the required toggle. You can always review your question before saving by clicking Preview. The questionnaire, as it will appear to the contact, will display. If you do not have any changes to make, the questionnaire is ready to be saved and you can click Save. The newly created record will appear on the questionnaire page along with other templates. To create a questionnaire using an existing template, click Create Questionnaire. In the Overlay box, select the From Template or Existing Questionnaire option. Select a template from the drop-down 
and then click Next. Make the changes as required. Remember to click on Save to save your questionnaire. The newly created questionnaire will appear on the questionnaire page. You can preview the questionnaire by clicking Preview under Actions. If you want to copy the URL of your questionnaire, click the Share link. As a system administrator, you can also manage devices, temperature settings, outdoor and indoor settings, and volume settings. Let's now find out how to change temperature settings. The device status menu takes you to the sites page. On this page, you can change temperature settings for your devices by clicking the View Devices link under the action next to your device. All the devices for the site will display on the screen. Click the Setup link to change the settings for a device. You will see links for setting temperature, uploads, camera reboot, and questionnaires. Click Temperature Settings. The overlay box for the selected device appears, allowing you to change the temperature settings. If mask detection is flipped on, then the scanner will see if the individual is wearing a mask or not. This is also the place where you can manage the high temperature reading for a specific device. Once you make the changes, remember to click the Submit button. While a system administrator can affect changes at a global setting level, there are other roles available that allow data monitoring and reporting at site level. If you are a site manager or a department manager, you can review the sites and scanners that are assigned to you. After you log into the Data Access Management platform, you can monitor the different data using the dashboards. Let's get to know about the Data Access Management platform dashboards. The Data Access Management platform offers two dashboard features, the Turing Home dashboard and the Reports dashboard. You can use the Home dashboard to view and manage all categories of alerts. The Reports dashboard, on the other hand, offers statistical data on temperature and alerts for the available sites. The data analytics capabilities offered by both these dashboards allows visibility and actionable decision-making. Let's now find out how to review the two dashboards. The Home Dashboard consists of a U.S. map showing all the devices set up for your sites for all states highlighted. You can keep the mouse over or click appropriate portions to view the alerts. You can also view the different sites with alerts and alert trends. For example, you can choose to view citywide alerts or select a state without an alert. Once you select the location on mouse over, the specific state, province, or territory gets highlighted. You can click a specific location on the pop-up to view the high temperature status of the corresponding sites and devices for that location. If you click on a state which is not highlighted, a new page with the image of the state will appear expanded. The management overview to the right of the map of the states, provinces, or territories informs you of how many states have the scanners installed, how many sites have the scanners, and the total number of scanners that all the states, provinces, territories, and sites have. Next, under Alerts Overview, you will find the total number of sites with alerts, the total number of cases with high temperature, and the number of resolved cases. The Alert Trends section allows you to filter the data for a required period and understand the alert trends. It helps you take necessary actions to resolve the pending cases for a specific location. To learn more about the Statistics or Reports dashboard page, you can click the View Temperature Dashboard link. Alternatively, you can access the page from the Dashboard option of the Reports menu. The Temperature Dashboard page offers four different statistical views for all sites combined. Temperature Statistics, Alerts Overview, Total Temperatures Taken Over Time, and Top Sites with Alerts. You can also use the filters to view data for a specific site and times. However, note that clicking the Reset link will set the dashboard back to the default settings. Let's look at each of these statistical views in detail starting with temperature statistics. The temperature statistics graph shows all the temperatures taken at a specific site or all the sites, 
how many of them are high, and how many are normal. The alerts overview graph shows you the total number of high temperature alerts that were received at a site that you're responsible for, or all of your sites, which of them have been resolved, and which of them are pending. You can then initiate action on the pending alerts. The total temperatures taken over time graph shows you all the temperatures taken over a certain period. This graph is very similar to the alert trends graph on the home dashboard page. However, there is one difference. At the bottom of the graph is an option to click total current period temperatures, total last period temperatures, total high temperatures for the current period, and total high temperatures for the last period. The default settings for these have all of these options selected. For example, if you deselect last period high temperatures, current high temperatures, total, last period, the graph will be set to the total temperatures taken for the current period. The top sites with alert section displays sites and states with the corresponding alert count. On the high temperatures page under alerts, you can filter results and flip temperature between degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. You can also export data to either the Excel or PDF format. This gives you the what you see is what you get report. You can access the records page by clicking the export option under the reports menu. The records page displays a list of daily report of all data and it's visible to the administrator based on their role. As a site manager, you can also monitor temperatures for your sites and devices. Let's now find out how to monitor temperatures. The high temperatures option under the alerts menu takes you to the high temperatures page. On this page, you can filter the results by status, state, site, devices, and times. You can select the appropriate filters and click search to display the set of data that you need. Find details for a specific alert by clicking details next to the corresponding alert. An alert ID overlay box will appear, providing more details about the alert. Here, you can check mask, visitor, and temperature check results in addition to the temperature captured. You can also find the body temperature records of the past 14 days. Add your comments, if any, and click submit to mark an alert as in process. You can also click more records to see all the records for the selected user. Please note that pictures of employees are visible if Turing Biometrics, which includes face recognition, is turned on. This concludes our video on the overview of Data Access Management Platform. Thank you for watching.